The vaquita. A species of porpoise, endemic to the northern end of the Gulf of California in Baja California, Mexico. It is the rarest animal on Earth, with a population of around only 10, according to scientists. With such small numbers in the wild, and none in captivity, it's a wonder that this majestic animal isn't fully extinct. Thankfully, researchers and scientists are working together to try and save them. And with that, join us, as we learn a little more about the rarest animal on Earth. The vaquita, translated from Spanish, meaning little cow, is the smallest living species of cetacean. They can be easily distinguished from any other species in its range, as it has a small body with an unusually tall, triangular dorsal fin, a rounded head, and no distinguished beak. The coloration is mostly gray with a darker back and a white ventral field. Prominent black patches surround its lips and eyes, and sexual dimorphism is apparent in body size, with mature females being longer than males and having larger heads and wider flippers. Females reach a maximum size of about 4.9 feet, while males reach about 4.6 feet. Dorsal fin height is greater in males than in females. They are also known to weigh around 60 to 150 pounds. This makes them one of the smallest species in the porpoise family. Vaquitas are generalists, foraging on a variety of demersal fish species, crustaceans, and squids, though benthic fish such as grunts and croakers make up most of their diet. Their habitat is restricted to a small portion of the upper Gulf of California, also called the Sea of Cortez, making this the smallest range of any cetacean species. They live in shallow, turbid waters of less than 490 feet in depth. Vaquitas are generally seen alone or in pairs, often with a calf, but have been observed in small groups of up to 10 individuals. Little is known about the life history of this species. Life expectancy is estimated at about 20 years, and age of sexual maturity is somewhere between 3 and 6 years of age. While an initial analysis of stranded vaquitas estimated a two-year calving interval, recent sightings data suggest that vaquitas can reproduce annually. It is thought that vaquitas have a polygynous mating system in which males compete for females. This competition is evidenced by the presence of sexual dimorphism, small group sizes, and large testes accounting for nearly 3% of body mass. Vaquitas reach sexual maturity from 3 to 6 years old, and have synchronous reproduction, suggesting that calving span is greater than a year. Their pregnancies last from 10 to 11 months, and vaquita calves are nursed by their mothers for 6 to 8 months until becoming independent. Vaquitas give birth about every other year to a single calf, usually between the months of February and April. Because of their low reproduction rates, long gestation periods and larger species size, they are on the brink of extinction because their numbers are few and they cannot replenish their population fast enough to exceed the number of vaquitas dying off. The drastic decline in vaquita abundance is the result of fisheries bycatch in commercial and illegal gillnets, including fisheries targeting the now endangered totoaba, shrimp, and other available fish species. Despite government regulations, including a partial gillnet ban in 2015 and establishment of a permanent gillnet exclusion zone in 2017, illegal toteaba fishing remains prevalent in vaquita habitat, and as a result the population has continued to decline. Fewer than 19 vaquitas remained in the wild in 2018. Large mesh gillnets used in illegal fishing for totoaba caused an increase in the rate of loss of vaquitas after 2011. Roughly 80% of shrimp caught in the northern end of the Gulf of California, which has a high aquatic mammal bycatch rate, is consumed in the United States. As such, U.S. consumers of this shrimp are likely contributing to the vaquita extinction crisis. So, what did you think of the vaquita? Were you shocked to learn how few there are, left in the world? Can you think of any other way to possibly save them? 
drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.